also like to invite Ms. Judy Lacock, if she would please share her patient experience as well. Hi, I'm Judy Lacoque, and I have uh, multiple sclerosis, and um, I've only had one treatment, and um, I'm, I'm going for my second one in April, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I, I want to tell you uh, very quickly my journey. Um, before I went to coast, to um, Panama, <laughs> I used to, I, well, before I got most, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, um, I used to walk Normally, I used to even run. I used to play guitar quite well. I, I, I ran a business. I wore high heels. I, I was fine. I was just as normal as could be. And um, over the years, m many things developed. I began to have more and more difficulty walking. And um, I had, by the t at the end of 2010, I had to use a cane all the time. And um, I had ordered a scooter, and um, I couldn't squat down. I not for at least ten years. I hadn't been able to squat down, plug in a lamp, pet my dog, do anything like that. And my bladder was shot. I probably, probably since I was a teenager, and um, I just had so many issues. I I would fall a lot. I I remember. I had a very bad fall that I had to have major surgery, and I had to be in the hospital for two weeks for a broken shoulder. And um, things were <laughs> almost in pretty bad shape. Um, at, at the by the end of 2009 or 2010, no, 2009, um, stem cells had come before me many times. I'd heard about stem cells in publications. Friends had talked about it. I got emails about it, and um, one day, and things were getting really bad, and at the end of 2009, I got an email, um, Janice Gonzalez was going to have a stem cell transplant, and she was raising money, and I, I said, why not? I need to look at this. Why not? What can I lose? And I went to the uh, cellmedicine.com website, which is the Stem Cell Institute's website, and I looked around, and it made perfect sense. It made intellectual sense that stem cells could heal. They could repair. And I didn't know what I was waiting for. So I, I also knew that I didn't have the money, but I said, I am going to do this. And I filled out the application right then and there, sent it in, and the rest is history. And we had a lot of fundraisers, and we did a lot of things to get me there. And I have a lot of people to be very grateful to. Um, I want to say that when I was in, so I went to Panama this last June, and I had a transplant. I was there for a month, and the doctors and nurses, I mean, the doctors, the whole staff, everybody I encountered was incredibly compassionate, very professional. I, I even had, I was there for a month, I even had a week when I was by myself down there. I never felt for a minute like I wasn't cared for. I was completely cared for. And um, I also toured the laboratory, the Metastem labs. That was fascinating. Um, from the minute you step in the door, you have to cover up. You you have uh, hair nets. You have booties. You have everything to cover up. And um, that was a fascinating experience. There were some places I couldn't even visit except through the glass um, because if it's really serious. But this is where the miracles start. This was really neat to see. So um, let me tell you where I am now today. Th this is really wonderful. I mean, you could see that I walked up here without a cane. My walking's not perfect. I need to have additional treatment. But um, I don't use a cane anymore. I can squat down whenever I want. Before the um, transplant, I ha could not stand on my legs longer than a few minutes. A few minutes was a long time. And then I had to sit down. Now I can stand on my legs for hours. And <laughs> that's amazing, really amazing. And um, my bladder is fixed. That's... 
really, really awesome. Um, I just can't even, before I went, a friend of mine asked me if there was one thing, one thing that could change, what would you want it to be? And I said, well, it would be the bladder, but it's, it's been bad for so long. It's too big. There's no way. And um, <clears throat> I want to say that um, my husband, Philippe, and I were at dinner with some friends of ours who are in this room right now, and I had my first glass of wine because I hadn't had any wine in a very long time. And um, I had my first glass of wine. We were out for dinner, and I stood up and I said, I need to use the restroom. And I expected that I wouldn't get three steps without having an accident. I, I went, this, this was what, about a month ago maybe? And I actually made it to the bathroom and back, no problem. I didn't have any problem. So it's really, that's, to me, that's amazing. Anyways, I, I yeah, it's awesome. Um, I, I want to say that there are so many diseases that stem cells address. And I want to say that if you're suffering, if you're afraid of the future, if you're looking for an answer, take a leap into this science, to, into this new medicine. It is amazing. And I wish you all the best. <laughs>